Okay, there's also another, other than negative feedback, um, there are, the body can also respond to changes with positive feedback. Um, this, rather than being a corrective mechanism, is ac actually a me mechanism of amplification. So, this is a um, system that's used in the body at times, but it's, it's not quite as common um, as a physiological process as, um, as negative feedback is, which I was talking about previously. So what positive feedback is, is um, you start out at a starting point. Um, there is a change. And then the change is detected. So, so far we are fairly similar to the negative feedback loop. But it's the response to the change that makes, makes it different. This, the response to the change is a positive response and this amplifies. So, um, and then what happens is this actually turns into a spiral because you come to, a, you get to, um, the amplifying response actually promotes further change. That change is detected again. That change is again amplified. And you get further change. And you end up with a spiral. Now, there's several examples of this from pathophysiology. Um, where this this mechanism actually results in a vicious um, circle or a downward spiral. And there's an example in the textbook Goitman and Hall um, that talks about um, hemorrhage that can you can um, develop hemorrhage and if you get to a certain point you uh, work your way into a downward spiral where the body can no longer compensate and it actually um, starts to get worse and worse. And this example occurs like this. So what you have is you have a starting point where you have blood pressure, where you have systolic blood pressure of 110. And then there's ha change. because of hemorrhage, right? Two hours in there. And then that change um, causes a drop in cardiac output, which also causes a decrease in cardiac blood supply. And that causes a um, decrease inotrope, inotropic response. So it causes the heart to be uh, the heart strokes to be weaker, and that further decreases the cardiac output, and you end up with, and that causes another change, which is further drop in the blood pressure which causes this cycle to continue as a downward spiral.